Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the miscellaneous series. This is the follow-up video on PyFlow module. We have already uploaded a video on PyFlow. I'll be putting the link in the description section for your use. Let me go to the PyFlow physics and discuss about the equation once again. If you look at this particular equation, this is nothing but the momentum equation, this the top one and the bottom one is the continuity equation and u fluid is a tangential velocity if you have a pipeline which might be curved which might be going rectangular that means changing directions so whenever you are taking the fluid velocity you are taking at a tangential direction and this is the fact of this particular physics that is pi flow module so the additional term which is there in the momentum equation is the loss term. So if you see this particular term indicates the loss and the loss is proportional to the u square that means the fluid velocity square and you can see this is the thing which is coming in this particular term. Now these losses are coming due to wall friction, sudden contraction or expansions or there if there is some valves or some other say elbow joint or anything that will create some uh, losses and those losses are being taken care of in this particular section so i have already mentioned in the previous video if you right click you will be getting the options of putting valves bend uh, t junction y junction so as per the requirement you can actually use all those things now one thing you may you should think uh, that is if we are putting a loss there so this is a loss of momentum but we all know that momentum is also conserved so if there is some loss here that loss has to be coming as as some other thing in order to maintain the conservation law so basically this loss comes as heat and it increase the temperature of the pipeline and we also have experience if fluid flow with a very high velocity inside a pipe after some time the wall of the pipe may be heated and this happens due to continuous frictional loss so in this particular model in the comsol application library they have utilized this heating effect that means there is a pipe flow uh, this is the complicated network of pipe in industry we basically see this kind of network so they have actually mimicked some industry pipelines and they have considered for the losses and these losses are accounting for the heat transfer and that's why they are solving for heat that is the temperature equation so I'm explaining this is the convective heat transfer this is this is the diffusive or conductive heat transfer and here is the source term and this heat is coming due to the friction or sudden contraction expansion so whatever form if there is any loss in the pipe flow then that loss is coming as a heat so if you look at this equation this is adding as a plus plus of this and in the momentum equation it was added as negative that means this is a loss here but in heat transfer equation this is basically a gain so again i'm repeating whatever is coming as a loss in the momentum equation the same thing same amount quantitatively coming in the heat equation as heat source and as there is a heat source if the pipeline will be uh, they, they can be heated and there could be a distribution of temperature throughout this network in this section they have also accounted for the pipe mechanics so what is pipe mechanics so we also have we, we, we have experience like in industrial pipe flow if a fluid is flowing with a very high velocity then it pushes the pipe 
that means on the walls of the pipe some stress that is a hydrodynamic stress that act and if there is any resultant stress on the pipe then you may require a support to hold the pipe on in the space also if you have looked at the pipelines of drainage system in municipal pipelines you might have noticed that there are some supports when the pipelines are established on a certain basement or underwater pipeline where, where, wherever it is if there is a pipeline network there might be multiple supports and those supports are coming from the hydrodynamic stress which is acting on the walls and that particular physics that is pipe mechanics account for those hydrodynamic stresses so uh, here if you see there are multiple options like fixed constraint so this part is fixed so say this part in in those sections there are prescribed displacement and rotation so in the setting window you can actually define the displacement and also the rotation similarly you can have multiple such options so this particular physics should be integrated with the pipe flow and in comsol this particular part is specially designed for pipe flow only so that we can solve industrial pipe flow problems so this video was an overview of the facts that how to use pipe flow pipe flow mechanics and heat transfer and the file is already available on their application library so if you want to have a look you can have a look and i forgot to mention uh, those physics are coupled by fluid pipe interactions so fluid pipe interactions couple these two physics that is the pipe flow and pipe flow mechanics so you can see this is a pipe flow and pipe flow mechanics and it accounts for the what kind of forces and loads it accounts for drag force centrifugal force pipe flow pressure and junction force so you can uh, you can see there are uh, check uncheck options so if you want to omit any of the forces you can just uncheck it and it will do your thing so today i stop here if this video was helpful kindly share this video with your peers